I just kept thinking of it again and again and when I lay down in bed at night I just think I want to be the mom for a change. Why can't I be the mom? Good morning guys, another week started. Today is Monday. We had a busy weekend and <clears throat> I'm seeing the signs of a busy weekend in my house. I won't even show you the kitchen because it's embarrassing. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that I noticed this weekend. This weekend we had two kids uh, staying with us for just a couple of hours and then a night because they are, their parents had something else to do and they asked us to watch over the kids. <clears throat> and so we had a great time together. We we played board games, we watched a movie, we ate together, we cooked together and when it was time to put the kids to bed they, one of them just started crying and he wanted his parents, he wanted to call his parents and, and just go home and I know that's completely normal I know it's nothing against us, it's just the fact that sometimes kids just want to be with their parents. Last time the boys were here, I didn't even tell you guys about this, but they were supposed to spend New Year's Eve with us and they didn't because they one night they just couldn't hold it anymore. So they started crying and, and asking for their dad. They haven't been, been able to spend a whole lot of time with their dad lately. so he. We called him the next day, he came, he picked them up, and which is obviously so normal too, you know, for kids to want to be with their parents. And that happened to us other times also that, that we had kids over to sleep in our house. Um, and this time, I'm just going to put the camera here because it's heavy. Uh, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> But this time, it just got me thinking, you know. I didn't feel sad because the child, the, the kid, wanted to go home to, to their parents. I felt sad because I thought, you know, I want to be the mom for a change. I want to be this person that gets the call in the middle of the night saying, your kid just wants to be with you. And nobody else, you know. I'm tired of being the friend, I'm tired of being the babysitter. I want to feel like, you know, if the if my child has any problems or is afraid of something or whatever, I'm gonna be the one person in the world that they want to call or they they want to be near to. And it just hurts, you know. It sucks. It sucks because, oh, I just, I don't know, sometimes we go through periods where it's, where we're fine, you know, we're just living our lives, just being the two of us, and then we go through other periods of time or situations that remind us that, that we're not parents, and um, it kind of stings a little bit, you know. Or a lot sometimes. After that, we went um, sledding with this family, this these friends of ours. It was so much fun. I'm gonna try to put some footage of it um, at the end of the video for you to see what we, what we were up to this weekend. And I just tried to shake off the feeling, you know. But it, I just kept thinking of it again and again. And when I lay down in bed at night, I just think. I want to be the mom, finally, and, you know, for a change. Why can't I be the mom? Why? It, it's, it makes me angry sometimes. It makes me... It makes me really angry. It makes me sad and it makes me, I don't know, just question things and... and I know I'm not supposed to understand everything that goes on in my life, but it would be nice to understand why we can't be parents. We've been trying for nine years. I, I just don't get it, you know. I 
I just want to be responsible for someone, for a life. You know, I'm not responsible for my husband. He's a grown up. He can take care of himself. We're a team and we're partners, so we're not responsible for each other. But we want to be responsible for someone and you know, be that person that that takes care and that nourishes and that is just, you know, the, the life of this child depends on you. And it's silly sometimes I think, you know, why in the world would I want that much um, responsibility and and trouble even, if you will, because it will change our lives completely. It's so much easier, it's so much simpler to just be the two of us and you know, why would I want that? But but I just do. We do. We want to be responsible for someone, for a life. But anyways, that's just my feelings from this weekend. And it's just, you know, you know funny because when you think you're okay um, with not having children, then suddenly, you know, something snaps and you, again, you realize... I'm not a parent and and it hurts so comment below if you want to talk to us about how you deal with infertility and what are the moments when you feel when reality sinks in and you feel like everything just sucks because you're not a parent yet but anyways I'm gonna show you some fun stuff now <laughs> from the weekend from yesterday and I hope you enjoy this footage I hope you can laugh with us we laughed so hard and so much it was really really cool and now I have to go study but I hope you enjoy the rest of the week the rest of your day enjoy the fun good morning guys we are <laughs> we're going to go sledding